That's one of my sons. And uh, he's actually the boy on the cover of The Morning Road to Thanksgiving. So this all ties in together. So what's interesting about that documentary, and, and so this is when he was 10 years old, and we were uh, singing in Montreal. This uh, photographer, she was just starting out. She's from France visiting, and she took this iconic photo of him. Uh, and a few other ones, the one he was holding in the um, in the, the documentary there. And uh, that picture of him, uh, maybe some of you have seen it. It's been all over the world. I would say it's been used on various sayings and it's been kind of lifted to, to memes to express, protect the environment, save indigenous children and so on. A lot of people were taking that uh, and used it, but also it was stolen. Uh, somebody stole that identity and said that um, that, that picture was their grandson, this person, this as we call pretendian, this fraud. He took that picture and went around and uh, said that this is my grandson and he's going to lead the tribe someday. You know, uh, you, you should give me some money and help us out. <laughs> and uh, he was doing all these presentations throughout Canada. And, you know, the, the native circle is very small. As I said, I've been traveling. I've been, I'm well-traveled as it was. Where So a lot of people know me and there happened to be somebody in the audience who knew who I was. They videoed his presentation and it's like, wait a minute, it looks like Larry's son there. And uh, so the word got back to me. And then pretty soon his story began to unravel and he got busted. And uh, I mean, this was after he had fleeced people out of a lot of money. And, you know, and uh, and so it was quite a, quite an unraveling for him, as it were. We had contacted the filmmaker as we had stayed friends with her for all these years. And uh, we said we need to do a story about indigenous appropriation and, and ethnic fraud and so on. And so we created that full length feature film uh, documentary that kind of centers around that, but also the story of him growing up, much like I did in an urban environment uh, here in Massachusetts, and sharing his story and a father a father and son story. Uh, and so we did a screening of that, uh, a couple screenings, and the full release is going to be next year on that. And so we're really excited about that, uh, about that documentary in order to um, not only tell our story, but to use that as educational tools for Native and non-Native alike. 